1027. I know this is late. I'm trying to get better at it, but been really busy with real life other than lifting. Still getting the lifting in, but not getting the videos done. So, again, back to being able to bench. Still a lot weaker than I would hope to be. This is uh, 225. And just going to play some music here for a bit and post the weights on the side and then do some commentary. <laughs> Not really happy with the speed on that or the total number of reps, but I wanted to go ahead and move up 265, doing a couple sets of triples here. Just for reference, before my injury and before I took some time off benching, I was doing 295 for multiple sets of triples and doing singles uh, between 300 and 310 to 315. So this is definitely down and you can see there even 265 for triples is a bit of a struggle right now but I'm getting there I'm getting there slowly and after those three sets I really wanted to work up to a single and I wanted to try 295 but the 265 was feeling heavy so I went ahead and did 285 you can see there I had a little bit of a sticking point so I wanted to go ahead and do 285 again but I recorded it from the side and you can see here look at my bar path uh, it was really really shaky and uh, I went ahead and watched that and decided you know what I'm gonna put on the slingshot force myself to follow the groove correctly first one was a little awkward but look at the second one, that's what I want to see. It's that straight diagonal movement from where you start the descent to your chest and then back up. And then I drop the weight down, 245, just get some reps in. Again, focusing on making sure that I'm getting that nice bar path that is going to be crucial if I want to keep my bench going in the right direction. And I think the reason that my bar path was off is number one, so much time off benching but number two I'm bringing my hands back in and it's becoming a lot more tricep dominant and my elbows keep wanting to flare like I would have if my hands were a little bit wider and because of how I have my hands positioned and trying not to do that it's this awkward sticking point but you can see here took the weight back down for the last set and uh, last rep, a little shaky, but I corrected the bar path, but the ones up to that felt pretty good. Back to working on the back, trying to go a lot heavier now. Uh, definitely a lot more interested in trying to push the weight here and not so interested anymore in keeping that super strict form. I've noticed so many people just do this with as much body English as they need and that's something I haven't been doing. So started off here, uh, this is just 105 and you can see elbows coming up past my back, that's what I want to see, looking really good there. Um, and I put the straps on but didn't end up using them for this set and the intention was to just try and go as heavy as I could today. So that's uh, 105. Then I went up to 155, and this is what we had tried the other day. Now you can see on these, my elbow's barely hitting even with my back. So definitely need to pull a little bit higher, but I think what was happening is I'm kind of uh, using that little bit of momentum, and then my chest would come back down and hit the dumbbell, so that would stop my range of motion. But seven reps, that's not too terrible. 
Uh, definitely had to put on straps for this. That is something that I'm going to keep working on weight just to improve my grip on these. But definitely felt good. Definitely felt like I was getting work in, unlike how I've been doing robes in the past. And then just for fun, I went ahead and put 175 pounds on there. And uh, you can see a lot more body English in there. But again, that's something I just want to do. Let's get some weight on there, see how far we can go, see how much I can do, really force the back to, to grow. And you can see now the range of motion is not anywhere near what it needs to be. So I watched that, decided, you know what, let's go ahead, let's take the weight back down. This is uh, 125, and you can see now I've got back that range of motion that I want. Way less body English. But again, still going to do the really heavy sets just to try and force the strength adaptations to occur. And in strongman, and even in powerlifting, you're never going to do any sort of back movement without using your legs and your hips. So it's not something that's going to detract and can even help. And from time to time, I will try and do some strict rowing. But this is something that definitely have been neglecting in the training. And this workout definitely, I felt it the next couple of days. And this is the second time doing heavy back work that I've just been sore for days after it. So that adaptation to the heavy training and the higher volume in the back is taking a little bit longer than I'd like. But... We're getting there and going to definitely keep working on this. I think it's going to definitely help with uh, deadlifting, even squats, keeping the back upright, and of course, then into strongman, Atlas Stones, keeping yourself upright, even Farmer's Pick. time for some tricep work so I wanted to start off with some behind the head tricep extensions and it, you get a little bit of a pullover motion but it's a nice stretch this is a good way to warm up and this is uh, 85 pounds here just again doing a little bit of warm up doing a little bit different motion than the skull crushers which are typical and one of the things that's pretty fun with this is trying to figure out how exactly to, to sit up normally with Glenn he just hands it to me so I haven't had to do this watched Richard how he was doing it and definitely not as good as he is definitely not as smooth on getting the bar off of myself but just wanted to show that there upped it to 105 pounds now we're over to skull crushers and trying to keep those upper arms from the elbow to the shoulder as strict as possible just really work on contracting the tricep building some endurance there and a little bit of strength this is also not where I would like it to be but again 105 getting some reps in so it's not terrible but definitely gonna have to keep working on this and fail there and again look oh almost didn't make it definitely not as graceful definitely not as graceful and then just kept the uh, same 105 on there did the last set here trying to get as many in as I could I know it's super entertaining, right? Almost there. Now this is something that uh, I have been working on is trying to figure out a way to increase the range of motion. So I apologize for the lighting, but normally I use the V handle and uh, my elbows only make it about three quarters, maybe a, even a half of the way to my back. So I went with a straight bar and uh, wider hand grip and you can see my elbows are actually coming a little bit past my back that was 200 pounds there I decided you know what since I'm doing heavy let's just keep going up again getting a lot more range of motion there this is 220 definitely feeling it and having my hands wider was definitely a different sensation 
than the V-bar, especially after doing all those heavy dumbbell rows. And you can see towards the end there, not getting quite as much range of motion as I was, but definitely more than the V-bar. And then for this last set, I went up to 240 and put my hands even a little bit wider, hitting a, a little bit more rear delt than I would normally get. And it was definitely a lot harder once I went that much wider. But as far as the range of motion goes, it's about the same. Again, towards the end, losing a little bit. And to finish it up, just wanted to do some light pull downs. Went... Uh, 120 and 110 pounds just trying to get some reps in there feel it contraction and I'm not doing these seated so I'm kind of doing a splits was not very comfortable but that's it gonna be throwing up a couple more training logs here shortly so bear with me as always thank you everybody for your support and your comments I really appreciate it